Brad from WPSites.net. Let's look at adding custom fonts into your WordPress theme. And uh, all the instructions are here on this post, how to add custom fonts in WordPress. Uh, first, we need to find some custom fonts. Um, in this example, we'll go to the fonts and we'll download some free custom fonts. Uh, let's take this one here. So we just download this file. Save that to desktop. Now we need to grab one of the files uh, from here. Um, let's just take uh, let's just take one of them. And we need to generate multiple files. So to do that, we'll use a font generator. Uh, now let's just scroll down here and you'll find online font face generator at font squirrel. So what we can do is we can upload this folder and it'll generate a package. So here's the TTF file. So we'll upload this. and we'll download the kit. And once we download the kit, kit we, can, uh, we can add that to our child themes root directory and we can load the fonts um, using the at font face uh, CSS rule in our child theme style sheet. So here's the kit. There it is there. Let's just go back to the tutorial in case we need that. Now we'll just upload this kit to the child themes root directory, which is here. And we'll just rename this to fonts. So that's got all our font files. It's generated multiple uh, font files. Now we need to take the style sheet. We'll just take the uh, the at font face CSS rule. Uh, we can delete that. We'll leave everything else in there. You probably don't need the specimen files. You can delete these if you want. Um, but this font face rule will load all these files. So we'll go into our child theme style sheet and just under the baseline normalize, paste in the the code for the at font face rule to load all the uh, different font files. Save that. Now we need to check the path. If we go into our demo site, it hasn't loaded the files and the reason is because we've put them all in a fonts folder. So what we need to do is just change this path here to these URLs. So because we've placed them all in the fonts folder, they're not loading. You can either take all the files out of the folder and put them in your child team's root directory or you can just change the path. Save our changes. And now that we've loaded the files, what we really need to do is use this uh, font name in our existing child themes CSS rules. So if we wanted to change all the titles, H1, H2, H3, etc., we'll just change this uh, font name here. Save the changes. Now these titles should all change now. And there we have it. So it's as simple as that. Just make sure you've got the path correct. Make sure you make changes in your, in your child theme style sheet and you change the font family name. But uh, if your fonts aren't loading, make sure these URL path 
uh, is correct and and is uh, and he's pulling your your fonts from your font folder. So there's more information uh, about how to load custom fonts, Google fonts, etc. Um, on WPSites.net. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers.